Detective Comics Batman number 1073. So finally it's here. Finally, we first saw the Orgom family, Arzen or whatever in 68, 1068. And I've been waiting for this when they finally like, when is he gonna fight Batman, really? Uh, oh my God, everyone call the blah, blah, blahs. What's your situation, Nightwing? We got everyone out, most of them. Cass, Cass, did you get out of the tunnels? Yes, I got out. Uh, I found more explosives in that area. Those didn't go off. Dad, Dad, are you okay? Yeah, sweetheart, it's pandemonium down here. What happened out there? Where is Batman? Batman. Oh wait, whenever it's green, that's Babs, who is known as the Oracle when she's behind the Kong. Batman, Batman, can you hear me? And finally, this is the Orgam son. Well, I forgot his name. The Azmir is the, the, the gas they created that turns you violent. I forgot his actual name. Anyways, you nobly, you choose nobly, Batman. Ever the predictable savior. Ready to sacrifice yourself for Gotham. A protector by design. No? So now, you will make the choice. You will make good on that choice. You think I'd walk in here unprepared? Yeah. Uh, I, I knew there would be some convolution mac machine machination. Some deranged plan. There always is. All I did was take a few hits. All I did was wait. And so this mask lets her uh, telepathically, like, I wouldn't say control, but kind of like more, more like influence people and less of control, you know? She could just put them on the path that she wishes, but not like say, do this, do that, do the other. Citizens of Gotham, look at the darkness you've tethered yourself to. And she's like making a mass calling about Batman and how Batman's behind everything and everything that he touches turns bad and how all the villains, how many disasters laid at his feet, how many villains made in his shadow. So like, it's Batman who makes the villains, you know? And she's telling this to everyone in Gotham, spinning it on him, putting up these images of Batman. It looks like he's got his hand on his head like, ugh, but I don't know what that is. And all the while, Batman is down there fighting for the people. You think this changes anything? You think I need the approval of the Gothamites? I've been hounded and hunted before and has never stopped me. <laughs> Look at yourself, Batman. The serpent is on loop out there, telling Gotham that you are not part of their future. And here you stand, still thinking it's all about you. On one hand, you did not think twice about sacrificing yourself to save the city. On the other hand, you cannot fathom a future for the city without you at the center. What manner of sacrifice is that? Ha ha ha, Batman tonight, you will die in more ways than one. And then you see outside the Gotham walls and he's changing. Oh, so the mask is combined with this reality engine that his family has harvested for centuries, eons, reconfiguring Gotham's design. Without your interface, Gotham will be free at last to move on to be saved as it was meant to be. And I don't remember who this is. The Eye of the Serpent telling us. She does say his name. All right, Arclight, the Arcalite. He's not good or bad, he's kind of like um, just a mediator. 1069. 1068 is when I said this began. How come I don't remember 1069? And the vigil, number one, I didn't read that. You'll have to forgive me. It seems to be, it seems to be making a habit out of frying your electrical equipment. Each time I show up, why would you do that? The eye of the serpent, the woman of Oregon who speaks on your screen. Her mask gives her the power, a potent power of suggestion, the mass of hypnosis of sorts. Coupled with the Thelemus, Thelemus engine, what do they call it over here? 
Telemus, oh, real, Telemus Reality Engine. It can shape and sway the whole city. If I hadn't intervened, you had be, if you'd begun to fall under her mesmerism? Oh, all correct. What about everyone else out there? What about them? You failed, Oracle. You failed them. The Orgams control every broadcast, every line of information, every network in the city. They planned for this for a while. Of course, this is what we warned you about. I guess that warning came in this issue. I'm gonna go check and see if there's any variants where this Alkrite is on the cover. And we'll check vigil number one to check them out, see if there's any. If we cannot get, if we cannot get the Thelemus engine away from them, Gotham will begin to change. Cities have personalities and Gotham's personality, well, it's not the safest in the hands of the wrong person. Oh wait, who's this guy? Where is he? What does he come into play? And then there was a mini series like uh, six months ago where they killed him. They chopped off his hand. I don't know. He was dead. I remember. Oh, I see. Mad City emerging. Fearsome. New. Pushing at the edges of your crystals. Butterfly City. Dragon City. Who will it be? What will you become? Mr. Face. This move to... This move to discredit Batman is beginning of whatever direction it... In which they're seeking to steer Gotham. Titan patrols up the security. Stop the recruiting. Storms are coming. Time to board up the windows and shut the doors. And watch the rats eat each other in the dark. It's funny how sometimes they make him like super smart, two-faced, and sometimes he's just like a dummy. If Batman fa fails now, you should expect the whole city to turn in unexpected ways. There will be a vacuum. And all the terrible things will rush to the scent of power. You have... Wait, who's saying this? What is this? Who is those? What is this panel? These two panels. You have failed, so... So have we. And now if Batman fails, we must prepare for the worst. Dad! Dad, can you hear me? Brrr, Babs, what's going on? What's going on? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, well, all the comms are down, but I knew that you'd have your cell phone on you. Why would he not? You can't watch and listen to broadcast, Dad. Don't listen. It's going to mesmerize you. I've been poisoned, drugged, hypnotized, and jokerized, and brainwashed. <laughs> My head's pretty screwed up. Uh, it'll take more than a stupid TV broadcast. Can't say the same for everyone else. Oh, so he's a mute. That's sick. He's like... What happened in his whole life, he's now immune to the mesmerized thing. That's pretty cool to have that ability because of your trauma. But like, man, I'm glad that they've been taking me for the ringer. Stay safe. Try and get the network back up. I gotta run, Babs. He's running to the mayor. Uh, Agent Montoya from Suicide Squad is now the mayor in the future, so... He gets the chair and smashes her screen. What are you doing, James Gordon? She doesn't know. You have no idea what you're doing, Arson. Oh, I do know his name. <laughs> it just came to me. I didn't even see that. You can still stop this. You cannot save the city by imposing your will on it. You cannot save a thing by changing its foundation. Arson, are you listening to me? <sighs> Whoa, that's crazy. Because he, he was just a little guy. Or maybe he just had the the kimono thing on. My name. How did you know my name? Your father. Your father understood this. Even with his dying breath. My father? What do you know of my father? I know he wouldn't approve of this. He, I know. He was betrayed. But not in the way that you think. Detective 1071. What? This is 1073. I mean, they... Oh, oh, yeah. They did have the whole story about, like, Ra's al Ghul's betrayal. And he wanted to blame al Ghul and the al Ghul family, which Batman married into. But it was actually his own mother who betrayed his father and killed his... Killed her husband. You presume to know things beyond our understanding, Batman. <sighs> Enough! 
You will keep my father's name out of this. Is that, a, oh, the arson is, is the asthma that he's like, I bet you didn't see this coming. You pride yourself on knowing everything, preparing for everything. Did you prepare for this? Oh, wait, look, we'll snap out of reality. So I got this issue a while back and we were gonna put it in this frame, but it didn't fit. So I ended up putting these cool cards in there. I'm gonna like arrange them better and tape it down, but it looks, came out pretty cool. I really wish this would have fit because yeah, but no, it didn't. All right, back to the reality of Batman. Also, we're, we uh, it's Wednesday and I didn't go to the comic book store. First time all year. I'm okay though, I'll survive. There is no fighting it. This is so sick, it reminds me of like old issues where something like this also happened. The asthma, it's persistence. It will wear you down. You can fight it all you want, but it's only a matter of time. And then here, this is inside Batman's mind, all these little boxes. I warned you, child, this time would come. And when all the strength and wisdom would fail you, even now the demons tear at your mind. You are still up to your clever tricks. Even now you rely on your trinkets, on your technology. When all you had to do was let me in, I make this offer now. Give yourself to me and all will be well. This is a constant vision. We always see this bat-like demon in over the decades. Taste of the blood of Barbados. What do you say, boy? Will you taste the darkness? Even just a little. No, I will not. No, you stubborn fool. Then you must run. The asthma is here. It is ravenous and relentless. I will keep it at bay as long as I can. While you run, while you run, Outside, they will chase you, good and bad, and all kinds in between. Here, inside your mind, the asthma will rip you apart one memory at a time. And the precarious world you have built outside, your precious Gotham, it will begin to fall apart. Things will get desperate, child. You will call on me before the end, and I will be right here, as I always have been waiting. So he's like, this is the darkness demon that wants Batman to become dark in order to kill, basically, he's gonna end up killing if he commits to this demon here. So, Batman always fights back. I won't do it! And then here, I believe this is the first story to Night Terrors. As you can see in the very end, it says, the story continues in First Blood, Night Terrors on sale July. And this is the same image from the Harley Quinn, in the back of the Harley Quinn, where I guess that would have been the first issue of Night Terrors, the Daydreams. So all those Daydream issues were forward preludes to Night Terrors. Is it called Prelude? Yeah. Anyways, Detective Comic 1073, I am 